Just walking along the river, I've come across this in the background. <laughs> I'm flipping out. You all right, sweetie? You all right, darling? It's a good girl. See the way she's flaring her ears at me? She's telling me to back off, making herself look really, really big. So I'm going to take the hint and back off from her. Good girl. Oh, man, no, wait, look, there's more. There's more over there. There's more, right? I'm just looking. Trying to not make eye contact, just walk along really slowly backwards. See what we can do. That's all right. I suspect there's a mum and calf there. There's a good girl, everything's all right. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. There's a good girl. It's all right, darling, it's all right. I'll stay here, don't worry, I'll take the hint. See how she's flaring at me? Flaring her ears, making herself look big. She's telling me to stay away. When you hear stories about elephants attacking, it's complete rubbish. Elephants don't attack you randomly. They give you all the signs like this lady is doing right now. See the way she flared her ears at me. Look, she's making herself look big. She's telling me like a rattlesnake rattles its tail. An elephant makes herself look big and flares her ears and flails her tongue, her trunk around. <clears throat> she's telling me to back off. I've got my baby. I'm giving you all the warning signs. Leave me alone. So we're going to respect that and back off. I might not making eye contact as well, it really helps because eye contact really drives them a bit bananas. So it's great I've got this iPhone here. I can actually use it like a mirror, see where she is, right, she's turning away. Whew. How cool is that? There you go. How to avoid an elephant attack just by reading the signs, understanding the body language, seeing what the animal's telling you, and acknowledging it, respecting it, and walking away. How cool is that?